I'm just getting my. It's been a while since I played this. Uh, dare I ask, what about love? You know what? It's just a different way of getting there. You don't have to start with love, end with love, you know, and over time, you grow to love the person you're with. Hmm. What, like Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> you know, my parents aren't making me do this, eh? Yeah? No, I know, that's why I'm so surprised. Do you know what the UK divorce rate is? No. I found out. Uh, 50%. 55%. <laughs> and guess what it is for arranged marriages? 6%. Boom! The thing is, though, I've seen it work. I want my kids to have what I had. Stability. And marriage isn't just about two people being in love. It's, it's a bigger thing than that. It's about what's best for children and the whole family, society. Just say all that weird, old-fashioned, conventional shit on camera. <laughs> no, it's so annoying. <laughs> If I win this rally, right? Yeah. You're doing the film. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, yes! God. Cultural consultant on this very positive documentary on arranged marriage. Great, can, if you could just um, ignore... Hi, guys. Asalaamu Alaikum. Mo here, Mo the matchmaker. And if you're looking for a suitable match for your son, then you've come to the right place. We do daughters as well. Again, just, you can just pretend I'm not here. Sorry, I'm invisible. Natural, bring it down a little bit. Sure, OK. So Platinum Services, they also include me checking out the girl's family, seeing that she's from a good family home, nice, tidy, clean. OK, so guys, tell me, what kind of lovely lady are we looking for today? Someone in intelligent and attractive and who I click with, I suppose. People keep talking about this click, you know. He needs a companion, not a click. Mm. OK, no, just someone who can tolerate my parents. You know, a girl from the same background, gotcha. soft-spoken, long hair, mm. uh, not too dark. Wheatish complexion at the most. Wheat really? beige. Did, did, did you bring your pen on colour chart? Be serious about this, OK? Brother, have a look at these and tell me what you think. No photos? No, no photos yet, pictures? because think about it. If she's too fit, then you won't know if she's a good fit, OK? You're going to see the picture. Yeah. You're thinking with your lulu. You need to be thinking with your nunu, OK? So, religious observance, what do you think? Do you want practicing, moderately practicing? Practicing. practicing. No, no, not too conservative. OK, and a beard or no beard? What? Uh, wrong list, sorry, give that back. Uh, sorry. Um, OK, and modesty, are we talking hijab? Are we talking niqab? Are we talking jilbab? Niqab is not necessary. We are a modern family, after all. OK, now, do we want a housewife kind of lady? Or do we want career lady? Seriously, as long as we're on the same wavelength and we have things in common. But not too ambitious or too much into this uh, uh, women's lib. Aho, aho. And uh, community? Pakistani. Pakistani. We're open to any background. But they just said Pakistan. As long as she's Muslim. But not Indian. Punjabi, Sindhi, Blochi, all these are OK. Hmm. Sure, Actually, so. it would be best if she's a, you know, Jalandar KPK Pathan mix. This yes, is getting kind of niche. OK, and what, uh, what's your education, bro? Bachelor's in biology, then medical school. He's a doctor. Oof, no, listen, top of the food chain. See? Easy. And any vices I should know about? Any uh, drinking, smoking, dogging, s and anything like that? None. No, no. OK, Uncle, Auntie, I will find your son a brilliant match. You don't worry about that. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. No dogs, no pets. No, no, dogging means something. D don't worry, don't worry. Cats are OK. Cats are... All right, right. Cats. Oh, Kaz. Oh, Kaz. Oh, Kaz. Oh, Kaz. Oh, Kaz. Isn't this a massive, crazy gamble? I mean, it, it, what if there's no chemistry? How, how are you even going to know if you don't believe in sex before marriage, all of a sudden? I'm not sure I believe in sex after marriage. <laughs> Most of my friends have no sex after marriage. That's what the loves of their lives. Fair point. It's depressing. But I think you can usually tell if this sex would work. Do you want to go and get a drink? A Bloody Mary for me and a virgin for you? <laughs> I've got lunch with my parents. Oh. Um, it's Mother's Day. OK, question. What did you think of her in real life? She's great. Yeah, but um, did you fancy her? <laughs> so pleased to say that on camera, come on. <laughs> so annoying. Fine. And are you nervous about the Mendy tonight? Actually, just tell me what that is. Well, in Pakistan, we really like to draw out the wedding celebrations. It's over, it's over three days. 
Uh, and first is the Mendy, which is tonight. And, and uh, kind of like a stag and a hen rolled into one. Except your grandparents are there, which is lovely. And the groom isn't stripped naked and tied to a lamppost. And then the next day is the nikah, which that's the actual marriage. And the shadi, then the valima. But the main thing is you have to look like you haven't enjoyed your first night together. What if you haven't enjoyed your first night together? <laughs> no comment? No comment. Can we go in? My mum would love this. Can I film in here? Are you? Afghanistan is very beautiful. It's beautiful. How much is it? Pandra has our open. Fifteen thousand. Thus, has our open. Yeah. Ten thousand. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You know, that stuff, passion and chemistry, whatever you want to call it, it's not the most important thing. It doesn't last, anyway. Some things I don't expect you to understand. Kaz, can you explain to me how it's so different, even though we grew up on the same street? How are we different? Yes. Are you serious? Please. Okay. For a start, you don't get asked every week where you're from originally, or how often you go back to Pakistan. You're British. I'm, I'm British-born, which we all know is just code for non-white. British, you know? And you're not expected to apologize profoundly on behalf of all brown people every time there's a terror attack anywhere in the world. That was an entire continent between number 49 and 47, Zach. Isn't that why you're making the film? I have to pray. I'll be back. Right.